first thing in shop is uh, unused tools. I found this lathe while cleaning up and before I decide to put up a table for it or something like it, I'll try to turn something. I'll cut it square so I don't get any problems with the lathe. So this one is square now and I could use it on the lathe but I want to cut a 45 at the edges just to uh, get rid of the most of the material before getting it rounded on the lathe. To find the center I just connect the, the corners for putting it into the lathe. But before I put it in the lathe, I want to cut off these 45 and therefore I have to find out the radius of the, the maximum radius of this, of this piece of wood. To find the maximum width and to know how deep this 45 could be, uh, take a compass center it, put it to the maximum of the wood now and just make a circle. Taking off the 45, I don't have to have to be careful not to pass that line, otherwise it's useless. The blade at 45, I'm going to adjust the fence until I slightly touch the circle. Before I can put this into, into center, I have to pre-drill a hole up here. I choose 5 millimeters and about 5 millimeters deep to take the stress out of the, out of the wood while putting it between the centers. This looks nice. First thing now I try to round it up.
after sanding from 60 to 240 with sandpaper and uh, the equivalent of 370 with this pad and uh, 1500 with this pad I apply the finish of beeswax and then I cut cut off the the excess at the bandsaw. The bandsaw I'm gonna cut the the, the ends and sand it down. To protect the the surface I'm gonna wrap this in a paper towel so the finish won't be destroyed. I think that one looks looks okay. Just clamped my belt sander to the lathe and I try to finish finish the finish the ends here. I start up on 120, go over to 180, and then do the rest by hand. After finishing that first thing over here, I remembered a video from Guy Bradbury who made this uh, massage roll and I think that one, that's a good idea. So I decided to make a second one. Thanks for watching.